Hello, this is Andrew with Mr. Remote. This is going to be a quick guide on how to create an ISO from a CD or DVD on Windows 11, or probably 10, but really any kind of Windows that you can install Linux on. I'm running Ubuntu on Windows. Uh, I don't recall if there are other kinds of Linux that you can run on Windows. This is the one I like, so that's what I've got. I'm not going to go through how to install that. That's very straightforward. Uh, if anybody has any questions, I'm sure I can find a guide for you to follow. Before getting started, uh, a couple points. First, I, I want to say this used to be really easy, just a supported part of Windows. You know, you like right-click on the DVD drive and create ISO. Maybe I'm just totally misremembering that. There are lots of third-party tools that you can install to, to do this and not go through the trouble I'm going to show you how to go through. I'm not super comfortable using random third-party tools on my workstation here, so I wanted something that was completely defensible. Things that come from Microsoft and things that are easy to install on Linux or built into Linux. The first step is to create a mount point for the DVD drive or the contents of the DVD drive. I've already done this, so it will fail. You can skip this step if this is the second or third or fourth or whatever time that you've done it. I've done this many times, I'm just finally getting around to making this guide. Uh, you will need to escalate privilege, so make sure you know your, your uh, pseudo password. And the, the D bit here, that can be anything. It's generally best practice to make it sensible. Just be aware that if you change it to something else, that you'll need to change it in the other places that I refer to uh, Mount D. So we're going to go ahead and escalate privilege. And like I said, it's going to fail for me because I already created it. It doesn't hurt to do it again, or the next time you do it, you can skip that step. The next step is to mount the disk to that mount point by running that command. It's gonna tell you that it's right protected, probably generally most times, because it is. You can just ignore that. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go somewhere which is part or easy to get to from the file system on Windows. In my case, I'm just going to go to the download folder. The thing that you're going to have to change here is this bit, which is your username on, on uh, your Windows system. The easiest way, to, or one of the easiest ways to do that is to figure that out is just to go to this place and then just hit tab a few times and you'll get all of the users that have an account on this Windows system. If you're the only user, you only see one real account. All users in public and stuff, those are always going to be there. Uh, my son has an account on this computer, so that's why uh, there's two here. So I'm going to go ahead and start, just start typing AG and then tab, and then I can hit tab again, but I know it's downloads. So we're going to go to that location. The next step is just to make sure that you have a tool called MKISOFS installed. Um, I don't recall if it comes with Ubuntu, but it's definitely one of the stock tools that you can install pretty easily using Ubuntu or using the uh, apt commands. So go ahead and make sure you have it. Once we've verified that MKSOFS is installed, we can go ahead and run the command that creates the image. This is the name of the image that will be created, so go ahead and change that to whatever you want. I won't worry about it too much because you can always change it later if you change your mind. So we're gonna go ahead and hit enter, and then it just does its magic. This might take a few minutes. How, much, how long it takes will depend on how much data is on the drive. All right, so we're done. I've gone ahead and opened up the downloads folder. You can see that the ISO is there. It's a good idea just to double click on it and open it up just to make sure that it worked. But I've never had it not work, so I'm gonna leave it here. Hopefully you found that useful. If you did, go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below and I will get to them as soon as I can. Thanks.